Hello everyone, welcome back to your own chemistry channel and you are watching DMG chemistry classes. And in this video, I am going to talk about the calculation of enthalpy change of a chemical reaction using bond energy data. So friends, when a chemical reaction takes place, then some bonds of reactants are broken and some bonds or new bonds of products are formed. And if we know the bond energies of various bonds involved, then we can easily calculate the delta H of a chemical reaction. So let us explain it with the help of a numerical problem. And the numerical is calculate the enthalpy change for the reaction H2 plus Vr2 giving us 2HBr. And we are also given the bond energies of HH bond, BrBr bond and HBr bond are 435, 192 and 364 kilojoule per mole respectively. Okay, so friends, as we can see that in the reactant, we have one HH bond and one BR, BR bond. Okay, or one mole of HH bond or one mole of BR, BR bond bonds. Okay, so energy absorbed for the dissociation of one mole of HH bonds, it is given that is 435 kilojoule per mole okay and uh, the energy absorbed for the dissociation of one mole of br br bond is equal to 192 kilojoule understood and the energy released for the formation of one mole of hbr bonds is equal to 364 kilojoule so here you can see that the energy released during the formation of one mole of hbr is equal to its bond energy that is 364 so let us explain it so friends we know that when a molecule is formed from its atoms and a chemical bond is formed then energy is released and why energy is released because molecule is more stable than atoms and i have told you that when a less stable system is converted into a more stable system then energy is released let us explain it here that here one mole of A atoms uh, is combining with one mole of B atoms giving us one mole of AB molecule. Okay, and you can see that the molecule is more stable than the atoms. So molecule will have less energy uh, as compared to the atoms. So I have assigned uh, values here that is I have assigned value 100 kilojoule for the energy of reactants and 50 kilojoule for the energy of the products okay so you can see that when reactants uh, will be converted into products energy will be released how much equal to 50 kilojoule energy will be released only then uh, the law of conservation of energy will be followed energy should be same on the both side so in this way when atoms combine combines and uh, molecule is formed then energy is released during the formation of molecule now if i want to break one mole of this ab bonds then how much energy will be required it will be equal to the energy released during its formation that is equal to 50 so when i want to dissociate one mole of ab bonds then the same amount of energy will be given and the molecule uh, one mole of the molecules or one mole of the bonds will dissociate into the atoms in this way we can say that the energy uh, released okay energy released is equal to the bond energy or i can also say it that bond energy is equal to the energy released so that's why here the energy released for the formation of one mole of hbr bond is equal to 364 kilojoule that is its bond energy okay now you can see from this chemical reaction that two moles of hbr are being formed so for the uh, energy release for the formation of two moles will be equal to 2 into 364 that is 728 kilojoules so this is energy released so you can clearly see that energy absorbed is equal to 627 kilojoule and energy released is equal to 728 kilojoule okay so energy released is more than the energy absorbed so this means that uh, uh, net result is energy released and how much energy will be released so energy released will be equal to 728 minus 627 and it will be equal to 101 kilojoule 
so the delta h that is enthalpy change or the energy evolved or absorbed during this chemical reaction will be equal to minus 101 uh, kilojoule okay so in this way we can calculate the delta h of a chemical reaction uh, with the help of bond energy data understood and alternatively we can also calculate uh, the delta h of a reaction with the help of a very simple relationship let us explain it here so here we have delta h of a reaction is equal to the sum of bond energies sum of bond energies of reactants okay minus the sum of bond energies of products okay now let us substitute the values so here we will have that is delta h of the reaction it will be equal to so reactants are hydrogen and bromine so it will be equal to bond energies of uh, hydrogen plus bond energy of br2 okay so this is the sum of the bond energies of reactants minus the sum of the bond energies of reactants so it will be equal to 2 into bond energy of hbr okay and bond energies are for one mole okay and here how many moles two moles of hbr are being formed that's why here we have written 2 into bond energy of HBr. So now let us substitute the values. So delta H of the reaction will be equal to bond energy of hydrogen, 1 mole of hydrogen is equal to 435 kilojoule and one bond energy of 1 mole of bromine molecules is equal to 192 kilojoule per mole minus 2 into bond energy of HBr is equal to 364 kilojoule per mole okay and when we will solve it we will have the same value that is delta H of the reaction it will be equal to minus 101 kilojoule okay so with the help of this relationship we can directly calculate okay the delta h of a reaction uh, with the help of bond energy data so this is all about the calculation of delta h of a reaction with the help of bond energy data and in my next video i will discuss the calculation of resonance energy with the help of thermochemical data so keep watching my videos like and share my videos and subscribe my channel thank you very much